Hi, it's James Wood here from Totally Wild UK and I'm just out today with my dog looking for some mushrooms and we found this one down here and it's really worth talking about because this mushroom is called the yellow stainer and it actually leads to the most poisonings from mushroom consumption in the UK. The reason being is that it looks a lot like our store-bought mushroom and therefore most people feel really confident picking it um, in the agaricus family, the same one as the store-bought mushroom, but they don't know about the yellow stain of this one and it can cause um, gastric upset, vomiting, nausea, has been uh, documented to cause um, fainting in some people but um, that's quite loose so not, not a definite but the vomiting for sure. Apparently some people can consume this without any issues which is really interesting so if you're one of those people and you've just picked field mushrooms, horse mushrooms, just presuming they're all the same thing and didn't know about yellow stainers very possible that you're one of those people which is fantastic because you do not have to worry about this one. Um, if we look at it from an ID point of view we can see it's got a cap, it's got a stem and it's got gills. Um, if we were to turn the mushroom upside down we'd see the gills. If it was really young they'd be kind of pinkish in colour. As they get older they turn to this kind of like dark brown colour. Um, and then on the stem we've got this double ring. Um, this skirt that sits on the stem. When it's attached, it's actually there to protect the gills. So the whole point of this skirt and ring, its job is to protect those gills as it's growing so nothing will go in there and eat them. And then when it's ready to start sporulating, dropping its seeds or its spores, the skirt drops away from the cap and it allows space for it to drop the spores out of. When this one's sealed, it looks a lot like a cogwheel pack. Everything to do with this mushroom, which is really good, it stains yellow. This one specifically has an iodine smell to it as well on top of that. The one I'm saying that you could potentially confuse this with is, um, is a horse mushroom. So it does slowly stain yellow, the horse mushroom. But if you to smell the horse mushroom, it has a really nice aniseed smell. Whereas this one has the iodine smell. The easiest way, um, if you're out picking field mushrooms and you think there might be yellow stainers in there, because I've actually found the two grown right next to each other and they look unbelievably similar. Um, the easiest way I find of pulling them out once I've, I've picked them is by chucking them all in the microwave, turn the microwave on high for 10 seconds um, and seeing if there's any staining. The yellow stainer will start to stain really quickly. So the ones you pull out that are stained yellow would be the yellow stainer and the other ones aren't. Typically the yellow stainer starts to stain yellow once you touch it or damage it but I've found with some of the older specimens they don't stain yellow quite as quickly. It's the really young ones that stain, stain yellow really really fast. So not one we're consuming, but one we could potentially confuse with mushrooms that we consume very regularly. Like say the field mushrooms, the horse mushrooms, ones that grow in the open grassland. Um, this one is, um, is one to get used to because as soon as you're comfortable with this one, the yellow stainer, you can then be really comfortable picking any of the other agarics without the worry that it's going to poison you or cause you to vomit. So that's it, the yellow stainer.